top five reasons you want to own in Veer Towers here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Now, let's get into it. Veer Towers is a high-rise condo on the Las Vegas Boulevard, and it actually has a Las Vegas Boulevard address. The number one reason, or the first out of the five that we're going to talk about today, is going to be amenities. Amenities in this tower are fantastic. This is one of the first towers that actually has a pool on the roof, as well as other amenities on the roof. Take advantage of that amazing view, right? So take a look at this. So in Veer Towers, this is Veer Towers. It's located in city center in the basically the middle of Las Vegas Boulevard. It's these yellow leaning towers right there. Perfect. And if you're familiar with the Bellagio, the Bellagio is right on over here. The Aria Casino is going to be this, what looks like a Y right here. Vidara is right on over here. The Cosmopolitan is these two towers here. And of course, the Waldorf Astoria is right here. So this is the yellow buildings that are in the middle. So the amenities that they have are all located on the roof. They're both there's two towers and they are leaning a different direction, north and south. And with these towers, you have the, all the amenities right up here. There are mirror images of each other. So the pools, the only thing difference between these towers is that the pools have different views. If you're in the east tower, this one right here, then your view is going to be of Las Vegas Boulevard and of course the Bellagio Fountains, the Cosmopolitan, and then all of these amazing iconic uh, features here right in Las Vegas. Now, if you are on the West Tower, you are gonna be in this tower right here. As you can see, the pool is on the opposite side and you're gonna be facing the mountains and uh, the South Las Vegas Boulevard. So if you go over here, you'll obviously be able to see the Park MGM right here, which is a newer, uh, they did a big renovation on that not too long ago. You'll have the Waldorf Astoria, New York, New York, Mandalay Bay, and of course the Pyramid over here as well. All those fun things. I guess this side's a little bit more iconic. Iconic would be what, older, like really well-known just items, right? Um, and the other side, I guess North would be a little bit more new, I guess. <laughs> but so the amenities in this tower. So you have, of course, your pool on the roof. And then if you're on the roof in this area, you have a barbecue area, you have the gym, you have a movie theater area, you have pool table area. They have bicycle storage, dedicated lockers for your bicycles down below, um, down below here. And so you don't have to have, if you have a bicycle, if you like biking, you know, Las Vegas Boulevard, like I think once a month or once a week, they have massive bike rides downtown. So you could hop on your bicycle and be over there and enjoy that festivities in just a little bit. Uh, so they have lockers, so they won't take up space. If you have a studio unit, boom, oh my gosh. If you have a studio unit in your uh, in Veer Towers, you don't have to use that valuable real estate uh, right there. And in fact, you know what? Let's take a look at this because um, yeah, here, here's a movie theater. The movie theater that's in Veer Towers, both towers have the exact same style to them. Pool area, which has infinity edge that goes off into Las Vegas Boulevard, your gym area, and of course, a wet and dry sauna, which is very cool in the locker rooms that you have off your gym. And in fact, I did a whole tour of this building uh, for all the amenities. If you Google or look on my channel for Veer Towers amenities, um, here I am just walking through. You have Las Vegas Boulevard, North Las Vegas Boulevard. I'm on the East Tower. You have all of these really nice chairs that are here, these cabana, uh, big bed items over there. And then check this out. Look at this view. Oh man, that view is good. You're looking at Las Vegas Boulevard. That's just stunning, right? And at nighttime, it's even better. If you're at New York, uh, New Year's, you have fireworks going off from all of the hotels over there. And then check this out. The barbecue area, the Veer Towers is really good at maintaining their community. It's immaculate. Look at this, um, this fridge right here. It's a Viking fridge. They have a Viking fridge for everybody to use. Uh, and then these barbecues, they are like cleaner than ever. So this is the regional barbecues that they had in Veer Towers uh, from the beginning of construction. They clean these suckers every day to make sure that they are perfect and absolutely ready to go. And then actually, you know, I wanna show you over here, we got the gym area. 
So the gym area, check out all of these things that you have. This may not be the biggest gym on the strip, but it has everything you need and the equipment is top of the line. It's really stellar. Oh, and then check this out. I think we have, if we go over here, we may be able to get into the lounge area. Yeah, I have a lounge area in here, cool. So going into the community lounge, they have a coffee machine off to the right, your chair's over here, so if you wanna use the Wi-Fi, get out of your unit, watch TV, or just do some work, maybe you're on a Zoom call and you don't want anybody to see your unit, right? Um, you can do that. And then check this out. You have your, well, I guess that's it. <laughs> that's it for that one. But amenities are killer over in Veer. And then the number two item is gonna be location. Location of Veer is in the center of Las Vegas Boulevard. So you are gonna be looking at um, the most desirable addresses in the world. So if you come to Las Vegas, you are very familiar with where you like to be, right? Veer Towers may be on that list of the locations where you usually frequent. If you like to go to the Bellagio, the Cosmopolitan, the Aria Casino, um, those are all some of the things that are within walking distance of Veer Towers. And let's get out to actually show you the map of what's in the surrounding area, because this location is pretty much second to none. It just like New York, you're gonna be, you know, one block makes all the difference. Same thing with Las Vegas. And let's actually show you this on the map here. So looking at Veer, you are in the middle of everything. You have the Crystal Shopping Center right down below, which is one of the best shopping malls that you can have in the country. It has all the flagship stores. You have Louis Vuitton, uh, Gucci, Fendi, all of, all of the designers. So if you're in designers, that's a big ticket thing for you. If you're not, it's just fancy to look at. It's just nice to look at. You have the Aria Casino. The Aria right here, which is this, this massive structure, has so many restaurants, bars, shows, clubs, and activities. It's astounding. You can just walk right over here, have fun all day, and at the end of the night, just come back home. You literally don't need a car. Uh, you don't need to go anywhere. Uh, you could just stay on your giant campus. Um, if you need to go to Starbucks, they got a Starbucks right down here. If you wanna go get uh, a coffee from a different uh, coffee shop, they have tons of coffee shops. If you are, uh, speaking of this location, if you own a business or are frequent with a uh, com like convention goers, right? So you can go right over here into the convention section, which is connected to the Aria, and this thing is absolutely massive. I was actually just there for a little bit, uh, a little bit ago, a real estate convention. Uh, so that is pretty cool. If you're into sports for this location, prime. You're absolutely prime. This is the T-Mobile Arena, and this is where the Golden Knights play. So this is just a hop, skip, and a jump away, because if you're in Veer, you can hop right on this in the Crystal Shopping Center. There's a tram. This tram brings you right on over to this location here in the Park MGM. Walk right out the front door of the Park MGM, and you are in the middle of hockey mecca right here and concerts in general. I mean, of course, T-Mobile has a lot of events that come to it. Um, I just know it because I absolutely love going to the Golden Knights games right here and they use these big, I mean, this is pretty cool. And pro tip, if you like to go to the bar and hang out after the game, you'll want to go over to uh, this bar right here. Uh, not Hello Kitty, <laughs> what, where is it? It's Beer House right here. So Beer House is the bar that you wanna to go to. This is the biggest sports bar on Las Vegas Boulevard, in my opinion. Uh, the Golden Knights Parade comes right down here at, before every game. You have Chance, the mascot, uh, and all of the all of the hockey ladies that are coming through, so that's pretty cool. And their giant band, of course. So location, 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 and then one more thing on this location, there is the Legion Stadium is right over here. One of the closest residential communities to the Legion Stadium, of course, where the Raiders play their football games. So that is pretty neat. So location is definitely uh, up there. And then the next thing that we're gonna be looking at is the LEED certification. This is, uh, Veer is a LEED certified gold community, which means it has one of the best uh, energy efficient and green uh, buildings that you could possibly get in Las Vegas. It could be the best in Las Vegas. I'd have to double check 
but it very well possibly could be the best. And that goes for all of city center. So city center, all the buildings in there, the Cos or not the Cosmopolitan, um, the Waldorf Astoria, Vidara, Aria, and Veer are all LEED certified gold, which is a very expensive certification to get because you need to have a lot of features that save energy and, uh, and do all that fun green stuff. Let me show you some things that actually, um, you can see what actually it is on the outside of the building. So Veer Towers, when you're going to it right here, you make pull up and you say, hey, what are, let me go right here, what are these yellow things on, on the building here? So if you come up right here, you say, wow, all of these yellow things, what is this? Is this just for aesthetics? And yes, partially it is for aesthetics, but this is actually a film that is on the windows sporadically to help keep the building cool. And so the units don't get too warm with the sun directly coming onto it. So of course it has like the low E glass, right? Um, but it also has an extra film to keep the building cool to reduce down power bills. Um, and with power bills, that's included in, uh, well actually your power bill is not included in your HOA, but in Veer, your air conditioning and heating is included in your HOA dues, which will keep your electric bill super low, super, super duper low. Um, and the fun thing about this LEED certification is that their power plant for this, I believe it's right here. So City Center has its own power plant, and I may be mistaken on the location. It may be right there or right here. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure, but they make their own power as well. Um, for this whole city, because it's huge. This is 66 acres of land. This is giant. Um, so LEED certification, LEED certified, gold, energy efficient. The next thing that we're gonna be looking at is unit views. The views of this tower are fantastic. So people will call me and ask me, hey, what's the best site to be on? What's the best level to be on? Where do I get the best view in Veer Towers? And it's so dynamic. This tower is so dynamic, not just because of how it leans, but because what's surrounding it. If you like uh, to see the lights of the city, you could see that from almost any location in Veer. Now, if you want a specific thing, say, I wanna see Bellagio Fountains. Well then, hey, you gotta be on the north side and you gotta be on the west building and on the north side of that building. That's why you have to have an agent that knows exactly what they're looking for. Let's get into this and I'll actually show you on the map what I'm talking about. So here we are, uh, Veer Towers. If you want a Bellagio fountain view, you check, take a look at these angles. This is the tower you wanna be on. You're looking directly at the Bellagio fountains. So if you, and this is the West Tower. So if you're in the West Tower on the north side of that community, you have amazing views of this uh, of this area here, or the, the Bellagio fountains. Now in the East Tower, you can get a partial view, but look at, you have this tower blocking you. You have the Cosmopolitan blocking your amazing view for that. Now don't get me wrong, you have you know all of this view from the East Tower as well. So that, I mean, it's not too shabby. <laughs> but if you want, let's say if you're like, okay, I want the most affordable unit in Veer Towers, but I would love to try to get some kind of a view of the strip. I would say, okay, we can definitely do that, but we're gonna to wanna to stay in the West Tower again, just so happens. And we wanna get a studio, which would be the most affordable uh, in the community. And we're actually gonna go in between the buildings, which is kind of counterintuitive for being able to get a view. This is the stack you wanna be in. All these studios right here in the middle of this building, right there, and it's a little bit north. The furthest studio north right here actually has a fantastic view of the strip. So you'll be actually looking right here at this angle. This will not be a 100% direct view, but if you turn your head, this is actually what it looks like if right here. If you're right here, you have one tower out, you know, in front of you and then you have this open strip view uh, to your left from those, uh, from those buildings or from those units. So the views are actually phenomenal. And number five will be the modern aesthetic of Veer Towers. So Veer, of course, is a modern community. It is one of very few in Las Vegas that are truly designed as modern, right? It has concrete walls in the hallway. It doesn't look like every other tower when you get on the inside and on the outside, of course. 
Um, and we don't have many in Las Vegas that are really modern. You can go downtown and you could get uh, Newport Lofts, Soho, but those are more lofty style. Those are, they don't have walls. <laughs> You're looking at like a big studio usually. You could have like 1200 square foot you know, studio, which could be the size of what a two bedroom could potentially be, but it's a little bit different. So in fact, let's get in and actually show you what it is. We're in Veer right here. Um, of course, this is a great modern design. And you know what, let me pull in to actually down below so you can see what it looks like. Check that out. You have um, the yellow and the clear glass here to give it a little bit of dimension. You have these outward borders around the, the structure here. Large glass windows. These are the lobby area right here for the East Tower. The lobby area for the West Tower. Massive art murals inside, which is super cool. Uh, and then you know what? I'm actually going in over here. You can take a look at, let's look at, uh, let's look at this one. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, you know what? Actually, I really, I think there's another one coming up. Yeah, see CSL, that's a purple one that says coming soon listing. So it's not currently on the market for the public to see, but it is on the real estate or on the MLS for realtors to know that it's gonna be coming onto the market. Check out this architecture. This is a penthouse unit, of course. So it's a little bit uh, of an, uh, uh, was it like, I guess, uh, larger scale of what the normal units are, but the same co uh, modern design is in all of the units that you see. So you know what, take a look, uh, case in point, let's look at a studio. Let's look at the most basic studio you can find. Actually, this one's actually a pretty cool studio. <laughs> it's not basic, it's a little bit larger than most, but take a look at this design. See, these are the lobby. This is the elevator stack. You got cool um, concrete walls here. You have l ambient lighting in the ceilings here and on the sides of the elevators there. That is so cool. That's modern. To me, that is all modern. Now, this is the most basic unit you can get. It's a studio unit. Um, it's furnished very nicely. Um, you do have, I mean, you have just the, the, the bare bones itself is ready to go. It's a modern design. You can tell by this uh, kitchen area that this is really a modern community. So even just you know the basic things that are there, and hopefully, let's take a look at the bathrooms. Take a look at the bathrooms here. Bam! Look at this. You have a vessel sink. You have lower countertops, elevated sink area, uh, and then you have the the walk-in shower with the linear tiles in there. I mean, this screams modern to me. So this is very cool and uh, rare to see in. Uh, properties on the strip. And so I hope you enjoyed the top five reasons people do buy in Veer Towers or why you should take a look and consider that community. And if you want to take a look at anything else, or if you have questions on those, take a look at my other videos, give me a call, shoot me a text message. I'd happy to help you with any real estate in Las Vegas, on the strip, or out in the valley. We'll talk to you soon, guys. Have a good one.